Well, there has been another shooting in Kampala. One person has been confirmed dead. I'm coming up with the details. President Museveni has militarized everything in Uganda. We now have military traffic officers on the roads. I have the deputy spokesperson of uh, UPDF, Kano Deo Akiki, speaking about this matter. You don't really want to miss on this story. A student at Makere University who has been practicing homosexuality and uh, sodomizing fellow students has been reported to police. I have the details on this story. Well, this is uh, the Buzz UG. Uh, welcome so big time. My name is uh, Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to also follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm using Melad's Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, police in Kampala are investigating a case in which a male student of uh, Makere University is accused of sending love messages to another male student of the same university. The case was uh, reported at Mbalala Police in Mukono by Karunchi Lawres, a third-year student of Bachelor of Commerce. He was sending me weird messages, including pictures of homosexual people, also telling me that he can give me money. I wasn't interested and I told him to stop, but he persisted in sending messages and I had to take a serious step. Well, that is a statement coming in from uh, Karunchi Lawres, a third-year student at Makere University. Homosexual acts are already illegal in Uganda and uh, anyone convicted faces life imprisonment. The law imposes death penalty for aggravated cases such as homosexual sex with uh, someone below 18 years or where the victim is affected with uh, HIV. Police have started investigations into this matter and according to Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson Mr. Patrick Onyango, they are yet to summon the suspect. Now, a few days ago, this picture saturated so big time on a different social media platforms and so many Ugandans complained that President Museveni's government has militarized everything in Uganda. These are UPDF officers clad in jackets wadding military police traffic. Now, the deputy spokesperson of uh, UPDF, Kano Deo Akiki, has confirmed the deployment of uh, military officers on the roads, and this is to support traffic officers against errant and undisciplined drivers. He also said this is going to support to eliminate those who pretend to be military with UPDF jackets and uniforms in their cars. So I think officially we now have military police on the roads, and uh, when you see those military officers, don't say, I never told you. I don't know what you have to say about this, but that is it from uh, the deputy spokesperson of uh, UPDF, Kanodeo Akiki. And finally, there has been another shooting at Bugolobi Market in Nakawa Division. A businesswoman who has been identified as Mutesi Zainab, 48 years of age, was shot dead by a security guard, Aijuka Arod, attached to Security Plus Company Limited. Mutesi was uh, operating a drink and merchandise store within Bugolobi Market building. Now, the Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson, Mr. Patrick Onyango, revealed that immediately the manhunt for the killer started and uh, they managed to arrest him yesterday. He's currently behind bars at Ginger Road Police Station and the body was conveyed to City Mochari Mulago for post-mortem. Well, according to Patrick Onyango, before the shooting, there was an altercation between the deceased and the suspect leading to the former releasing a bullet in the face. May her soul rest in peace. Yeah, so that is the latest update on the Buzz UG this Sunday morning. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. Most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.